way too long Your chat got sick of being treated wrong Stupid streamer needs to learn Not to bite the hand that feeds ya Now when the day is done The man's gonna call but the chat won't come Cause we know the power of our collective union The people united will never be defeated The streamers divided will not be there to beat us Together we're stronger, fighting as one The movement is bigger than all of us, you know Our voices have gone unheard No longer will we be divided Atriox chat will rise The revolution will not be televised Cut down for way too long Kept down for way too long. 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 We on top of the man down. Give up my list of demands. The bourgeoisie gon' fall. Yeah, we laying the plans. We on strike, proletariat, work a state on stage five. Now it's ours, where it used to be mine. This revolution won't be televised on Twist our TV. I don't get y'all nightly scarlet Frederick Nietzsche. God ain't dead, he look like Mr. ASK. You hear him when you play my CD. Santa Smith don't roll in grave when I play that Ouija. Shit, Mr. Streamer will keep moving till we get a treaty. And sign our dotted lines, we won't believe the lies of BE. Or GH, Gleezy, Hands, or Brandon, you and it don't matter to me, cause it's we. Citizens that stand united. Fancy this dance so rowdy when we empty handed. This your last chance, here's an olive branch open handed. Or chat gon' unionize and take by force what we demanded. This beat was brought to you by the Atriot Chat Labor Union. Please go to https slash slash atriot.org to show your support. Chatters of this stream unite. You have nothing to lose but your chains. This is a new era. Welcome to Down with the Asiaki. <laughs>
I, I went down a rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, and uh, now we're gonna continue on, um... On our little, uh... On our little, um, thing here. Uh, the first emoji said... Japanese companies took the first step in the late 90s to develop emojis for mobile devices. The first set of emojis was released by a J-Phone, now SoftBank a mobile. Uh, on the Skywalker DP21SW phone in November 1997. The phone did not sell well, and emojis could only be shared between users of that specific model, limiting their spread. Despite the sluggish start, a later version of SoftBank's emoji set would become the foundation for Apple's emojis that appeared uh, with the release of iOS 2 in 2008, and that led to the standardization on Uni by Unicode in 2010. Wow, we said. Get that. Poo. Year 2000 bug. Early computers only stored the last two digits of the year to save on, on expensive storage space. With the year 2000 approaching, this was a frenzied effort to fix programs that would break with the new millennium started. Alarmists predicted the failing blanks, plummeting airplanes, and nuclear plant disasters. Some people stockpiled gas, mass, and food to cushion against the potential financial crisis. The Federal Reserve pumped an extra 50 billion into circulation. With the new year rolled around, the world breathed a collective sigh of relief as the proactive works of programmers are paid off at averting widespread catastrophes. Wow, we found it. Oh, Jesus. You've got to be kidding. Those are definitely words. I ain't reading all that. <laughs> Oh, should I get to put my name on it? You'll see when it's come.
Trebuie să stăm în urmă, așa. O, e dus un mon, mon. And I don't think any of those were. Oh shit! I can't wait to ask Jeeves. Uh, ask Jeeves. Appearing in 1997, ask Jeeves regularized search by allowing users to make queries with natural language. The co-founder by Garrett, Garrett Gruner and David Raffin. The duo started with two f 25 million, 250,000 named the site after their PG Wooden House's all-knowing butler. The search has been rapidly gained traction and handling over a million queries daily of two years of launching. Unlike traditional search engines, Aston are used some semantic uh, analysis to sort questions in the one of, a, of about 10,000 basic templates. A team of human reviewers curated and varied responses, ensuring the data may be made under the <laughs> suggest personal use answer point, uh, money, travel, health. <laughs> Computer, entertainment, home and family, shopping, ass jeep for kids. Yo, what? He's <laughs> quits with me. I don't even think I can use it. The Hamster Dance, created by Dadari Lacarde, a 37-year-old artist, uh, and student, uh, art student, and uh, my sole arts instructor from British Columbia. The GeoCities website was a tribute to her pet hamster, Fox and only dubbed Hampton the Hamster. Page is created as a part of complete and see whose website could garner the most views between her friends and family. By the end of 1999, an estimated 17 million people had visited the page. Uh, the site's popularity spawned a wave of imitators, including those by featuring dancing cows, fists, and amoebas. <laughs> the official hamster dance is a song released in 20 in 2000 and released. And reach number one on those Canadian charts. He's lying a stream on time, but these nights that he's lying. Oh, it's that song. Originally called Back Rub, Google began as a research product by Stanford PhD students Larry Page and Sergey Brin after aimed at crawling the 10 million websites on their web on their time. In 1996, they pointed a crawler at a Stanford website and let it crawl the internet outward from there. Their main breakthrough was the page rake algorithm, which featured the quality and quality of links on the site. Quickly realized that the search results outperformed existing engines like Ala Vista and Excite. Working initially from their dorm rooms, they uh, con continually expanded the service, at one point consuming near half of Stanford's network bandwidth. The fucking poison the well. <laughs> What the fuck is waiting pins looking around. Eyes wide on the trough. 
And we're waiting for the cow. Let's all just moo in the chat. We'll get the streamer to come back. He's live now, just don't expect anything more. So come, 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 come. it's a slop stream. Feed us all slop with Liza B. No plan today. Don't ask the gay, or you won't get to chat for 11 days. I said, come, 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 don't get it wrong. It's a slop stream, come and tag along. He's done the whole, whole stream. stream without a plan. Now the stream is over. We've all been. Eastern frogs, no need to fear. You'll get your early stream. But it should be very clear this is a stream full of goop. And we are piggies waiting through. Now, here's a little food for the group. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna eat God! It's a slop stream, feed us all slop with Hitman 3, no plan today, don't ask me game, or you won't get to chat for 11 days, I said come, come Troy, Troy, don't get it wrong, it's a slop stream, come and tag along, he's on the whole oh, stream, free. without a plan, now the stream is over, we've all been fed, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, we've all been fed, come on. Back around. Don't ask me gay, or you won't get to chat for 11 days. I said, come, Troy, don't get it wrong. It's a slop stream, come and tag along. He's on the whole stream without a plan. Now the stream is over. We've all been fed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We've all been fed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We've all been fed. Come on. Come back room. Oh boy, those are copyrighted songs. <laughs> uh, founded by 19 year old son Fanning, Napster was a revolutionary peer to peer service that allowed users to stay in. <laughs> Fanning conceived of the idea in his dorm room at Northeastern University after hearing his roommate complain about the dead MP3 links. By 2000, Napster had grown to more than 20%, 90 million users, about 14,000 songs downloaded every minute. Napster's rapid rise terrified the music industry's R RIA, or the Record Industry Association of America. Started suing individuals for dominant songs from Napster. Metallica was the first individual band to sue F. Dr. Dre following soon after. The legal law onslaught led Napster to seizing operations in 2001. Uh, Netflix homepage, a fewer than a half a million DVD players sold worldwide. Half, um, Netflix launched, um, in 1998 with the initial library of more than 900 movies. They were able to target early adapters of DVDs since most of the video stores didn't stock them yet. The idea of Netflix came around when co-founders of Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph were carpooling. They initially thought of letting people rent VHS tapes online, but VHS were too expensive and 
though they kept the sets a few months out, they had read about a new format called DVD and dusted off the idea. They, mastered, they mailed a CD to Hastings' room and realized they could it could work when it arrived intact. Oh man, doesn't work. Zombo is a website where you can do anything. You only limited yourself. Welcome, created by Jeff Levine in 1999. The site was a parody of the flashy and pointless introductions to the web. It, during that area, when visitors landed on Zuba.com, there was some blinking people in a deep voice that lavishes them with a promise of limited possibilities. The Guardian labeled it as the least useful website on the internet. <laughs> the unattainable is unknown at Zamboka. Welcome to Zamboka. This is Zamboka. Welcome to Zamboka. Welcome. This is Zamboka. Welcome to Zamboka. I think it looped. Is it so funny? Well, Isker's Guide to Electronic Music, created by Kenneth Taylor, also known as Isker. Isker's Guide to Electronic Music was an influence. Interact the flashbait guide to electric music from the 90s. I told a friend I could categorize any electronic music genre with an 8 bar radius. He dared me to prove it, so I did. Iskar would say they say. Launching into October 21st, 2000, Iskar built the site in just two weeks, with a majority of the time spent looking for his vast collection of MP3s for the perfect samples. New versions of the guide were created over time with new subgenres and tracks being added with each release. Oh fuck, this may no no no. No. <laughs> okay 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 um um uh, tw twitch that's not I d I didn't know I, I didn't know <laughs>
an iconic f um hold on let me actually see if i can do that without sound The gold chain adorning Harry just revealing colors. The worshipping original floor filler. Just... Wow, that's a lot. Me? Booty. Pesos to US dollars. That would be seven dollars and twenty five cents. Detroit, we just want to see you get some wins like a mango. That was a Smash Bros. reference. Hope you got that. Why are you taking down where angle selfies like that? You dressing up as like a flannel and a snapback. You can't just filter chat or the tape of Snapchat. But I'm gonna get off from my podium. My word choice can be copious. 22, it gave us Morbius. But now we're all just living off a copium. Pumps Star Runner, an iconic Flash animated series. The Pump Star Runner took the internet by storm in the early 2000s, charming viewers with its unique humor and. Memorable characters created by Mike and Matt Chapman, also known as the Brother Chats. The series originally started as a parody of ch children's book. <laughs> the website's popularity soared with the introduction of Strong Bad email series, a feature uh, where the so character Strong Bad re strong responds to emails from fans. The interactive element captured the potential of the internet at the time, and segments grew so popular they were eventually released on DVD. <laughs> is, is this the D DVD? What's up, my man? What are you working on today? Hey, strong bad. I need to be kicked in the face. I can do it. I will do it nine times. This is a land. Shut it up. Shut it up, you. Shut it up, me. Here, the cheat have a trophy. Here, the cheat have another trophy. I was saving that one for about two seconds ago. Perfect. Timing. Here, the torch have a trophy. Three trophies for the torch. 
the cheat. This is the greatest cartoon in the whole world. Have a trophy. Hey, I didn't do that. Did I? I mean, it was good. I like the way you worked in A. Steve, but I didn't think it deserved a trophy. I don't even think it deserved a pizza. Maybe a pizza trophy. <laughs> Boy, let's play this awesome game. I, I've never really won. Oh no. Oh, that was actually hit. <laughs> Oh shit. Poop Smith. <laughs> okay, that does it. You're the stupidest guy in the world. Oh, or stupidest girl. Uh, you have to pardon me. I can't see very well from here without my glasses. Oh man. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, who is the guy that checks on the email? Let me throw bad. Dear Strong Bad, do you take your wrestling mask and boxing gloves off before you go to bed? Sincerely, Abdi LaRue, San Diego, California. Well, that's a stupid question, Abdi. Do you take off your face and hands before you go to bed? And if so, are you some kind of robot? And if so, what kind of powers do you have? Do you use them for good or for awesome? Would you like to join forces? I just happen to be the greatest criminal mind of our time. Okay, until next time, keep sending me your questions and I will make fun of you. I mean, answer them. I want to email him. That was fun. <laughs> back, back to this. <laughs> 31 tracks, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you can... <laughs> PC boots, dare pre chat for an hour. Uh, in 2000, founder Jimmy Wales enlisted a graduate student, Larry Sanger, to develop a new Pedia, an online encyclopedia, relying on scholarly contributions and stringent seven step review process. After a year, the platform only reduced 21 articles. Understanding they need the pivot, in 2001, they opened and launched Wikipedia. Collaborative and up in a week, within a month, Wikipedia had 600 arguments, and 20,000 a year later, contributors started calling themselves Wikipedians, and the community of the most anonymous users, uh, consolidated with the goal of creating a free online encyclopedia, one of the most radical ideas of, the, of Wikipedia was that everyone could contribute easily. I don't care if they're high school kid or a hybrid kid progressor, <laughs> Jimmy Will said. I guess tomorrow we'll give it another go. Well, we guess this is the same way. Recent changes. Wowie. Oh. <laughs> 
Man. The, the, those are current events going on right now. Oh, there's a lot of links in there. A <laughs> look after the game, oh boy. Game designed by David Candles and released in 2002. The helicopter was an early addicting flash game using a single mouse button to ascend. You guide a helicopter through a tunnel, dodging obstacles along the way. It was originally created by C. Sure Co. Okay. Excited for Get Smarter Saturday? We're actually here for, for the gambling content. Uh, Don't you mean the gaming content? The just a fill of no. the BBC TV series attachments. The, the site was Blue Six and a blog of the Six and a Startup Seafood. So the so correspond and its corresponding website said so is early to the, the inner universe interactive most media. Of us are doubters winning pennies, maybe dying. Spamming, this is the run for the I was able to play it before, tight. what happened? There's nowhere else I'd rather be on Saturday afternoon than sitting Played it for like a second when I glimpsed through it before. What happened to it? It got hit. Friendster. Launched by Jennifer Arams in 2020, 2003, Friendster was an early insert social media sensation, quickly amassing 3 million users. It's raised after several failed attention in social networking through the late 90s, X6 degrees, serving as a blueprint for future platforms. Friendster was a chief no attracted notable early users like Matthew McConaughey. And even Mark Zuckerberg, however, as it grew in popularity, the path of fit a significant technical projects like unbearable load times. Only a few months after Fred's relaxed, my canvas came out. Many same features, saving away fencers and momentum. RIP. <coughs> Oh, 
getting smart, we're having fun, learning things we never knew. But God forbid you ask for house, I'll pour one out for you. You know, I was talking to Aiden and I said, Aiden, let's do a real country song. Let's give it a real go. So I sing this chorus and I put my whole self into it and then he gives me this shit for the verses. I mean, really. It got crazy when Frogman got involved and uneasy, but I mean, seriously. To my family in Kentucky, I apologize for both this song and uh, the incident. We don't talk about that. And to every one of y'all freaks that doesn't like Bloodsy's Gamblers, I got one thing to say to you. Atriox sucks. He's a security. Bloodsy's the only thing keeping it interesting. Let's be real. Grow the fuck up. And one last thing. D's nuts. Oh my god. Gonna create your profile. Invite friends to your private personal network community. Your friend's profile make cl this and click for their friend your their friend's profile. <laughs> Browser search for all the people in your personal network. And you find someone interesting, you can see your connection to them and read their testimonials. <clears throat> Send someone a private message and see how, connect how you are connected through their mutual friends. There's more. Ask for an interaction to someone. Suggest a match between two people. Bulletin board messages, personalized book, music, and TV and music recommendations. Search by interest. Sign. Testimonial section. Zolia, 23, single from Sunnyvale, California. Member since June 2002. I was invited to join Friendster from a friend and found it to be a great and a fun way to find new people and to network. I really like the concept of marrying people or, or people in relationship on the site as well as the single ones. It allows everyone to be, be on and I'm able to communicate. Your friends know you the best and maybe they can help you in meeting new friends or even a potential mate. Being on friends with and helps you break up the ice and makes a simpler process in meeting people. Since I've been on friends there, I've been introduced to friends with to my friends and it's been fun. I really enjoy the gallery and being with juice streams on the message board. Friendster is a great interactive state with innovative interactive capabilities allowing users to break the ice and community with other possible friends. My friend got me to join Fester and so far I'm really having fun with it. I already invited five people to join up with me. I invited them so I, because I'm so far from the sun since they moved away. So it's fun to keep in touch with them. I like Fester because I can connect with people all over. And I found that and I've already found another person who likes to scuba dive. We all know meeting people in the wild is a risky proposition. With Friendster, you meet people through, through people that you already know and trust, so it's like having an infinite social network. I wonder where they are now. <laughs> My space, Tom. <laughs> In spring of 2003, Tamar saw the rise of platforms and friends and felt like a missed opportunity to create a more creative platform. It continues the mind place as a place where play users could retrust themselves, allowing them to even create a custom HTML and CSS and users' profiles. But from first game tracks and blogs, after this music scene where bands use the site to remote their songs, the site grew and started launching the careers of bands like Panic at the Disco. <laughs> Tom became a celebrity himself since everyone's the default first friend on MySpace. By October, the platform was adding 10,000 new users a day. I mean, who can hate Tom?
and then be the fast. Oh my god. Oh my god, <laughs> What is going on in the comments? I'm going for 100 friends by tonight. Tom's a what? Well, we The Facebook. <laughs> if the Harvard administration shut down face masks, a hot or not style website to reach students, Mark Zuckerberg launched thefacebook.com. Unlike MySpace, the sale was based on real world connections, requiring users to have a Hartford email to re and to use their real name. It was the first site many students used their real names on on social media. The platform was an instant hit within two thirds of Harvard's student body, signing up within a few weeks. Simple directory at its core. Mostly me used to made check relations instead of two censored classes. The site quickly expanded to other colleges, and by the end of 2004, it had over 1 million users. Boy Club Penguin. Club Penguin is good as a fun, safe space for kids and to play and hang out online. And the town's good as a dance club. The game featured meticulously designed virtual rooms where kids could chat and play with mini games like Tuffle Roundup and Card Surfer. Players were given their own personal igloo so they could be decorated with items and purchased in the game. They hosted the beloved monthly virtual parties along with annual Halloween celebrations that, that changed the entire map by 2006. Club Penguin had over 2.6 million users in the US and Canada. For many young it was re their first instrument introduction to social media.
Oh, I can't do the green thing. Telling a story, but in the wrong order. Molding at balloons, trying to get black borders. Marketing Mondays and what's up, Beijing? These are a few of my favorite streams. Speed running hitman, he's always in Paris. Showing off seats, he finds only the rarest. Constantly dying, playing lies of peace. These are lies of Oh boy, you wouldn't steal a car. In 2004, the Merchant Patron Association of America and the Federal Asian Against Copyright launched a You Soon Steal a Car campaign, an anti piracy publisher on some Facebook movies on DVDs aimed at deterring the online movie piracy. The initiative coincided with Hollywood's first ever monsters against the individual suspecting a series in movies online. Despite its serious intent, uh, does it stop? Nope, it didn't. Oh, that's a narration. By its serious intent, the app became a subject of lights and mockery through memes and parodies. It was an also later found that, ironically, the ad music was used without the creator's permission. Oh wow, we piracy is such a crime, I sure hope the creator's music isn't used without permission. Uh, in December 2004, a 19-year-old Gary Bosema um, uploaded a webcam video titled Numa Numa featuring himself and linking the Romanian song Dr Dragosti Dean's Tai by Ozone. I lost it in Italy on Newgrounds. Rosemar created the video after watching a cartoon about Japanese cats. Even before the existence of YouTube, his video exploded one night after Newgrounds featured it on their front page. A couple days later, Rosemar woke up to find out the news vans and all the major networks parked outside his house, forcing him to explain a sudden internet fan to a surprised mother. Oh, 
Okay, do it without some, please. Hello, fellow new Gunders. Numa Numa Special Atheist. A lot of people wanted the pictures out, so I made alternate versions. I fixed most of the problems and added subtitles with crappy translation. Really like to thank all of you that get for the good feedback and also time for putting this mess on the front page in June. Video games. I, I can't play audio because copyright. Ain't at twenty eight subbed. I'm short about eight months. Still in twenty. It's crazy that I ain't been think once. Stick the moves, Wazi. Time for the VI proletariat to make the sit man oils run like he's secretary. Drop spindle, drop the message in the inner. I think it finished. They go back to the other. Kinda curious on the original. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. There's apparently like images. Oh yeah, there. So this next one should be fun. Just give me a sec. Uh, a million dollar homepage. In 2005, 21 year old Alex too from Wiltshire, England, developed a unique way to pay for college. The million dollar homepage. Two sold one. 
one million pixels on the million dollar homepage for one dollar each or a hundred dollar buy it for a ten by ten pixel block. Get in tiny digital billboards for advertisers. Uh, the ads range from mainstream outlets like the title one more neat sites like the like online casinos. Hold on. Uh, the ads, um, the site received 2,000 unique visitors daily within the first month. That's 1,000 pixels were auctioned off for 38 one, <laughs> for 8,100 dollars, earning to a total of 1,310,000 from the stun. Two ended up dropping out after his first semester, saying school wasn't for him. <laughs> Oh boy, the first ever uh, YouTube video, me at the zoo, the co-founder of YouTube, Yod Karim, uploaded the first YouTube video, me at the zoo, on April 1st, 2005, hold on, uh, 197 clip, um, to, the 19 second clip of Karim discussing the long two trunk elephants at the San Diego Zoo. So not groundbreaking con in content. The video set the era for a new year, the, the tone for a new era of user creative videos. Originally conceived as a dating safe, YouTube pivoted to online entertainment just as the beca conditions became ripe for widespread video sharing, like the emergence of widespread broadband access. By the, by the if it's official launch of December 15th, 2005, YouTube is already serving over 2 million views per day. Alright, so here we are, one of the uh, elephants. Um, the cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, trunks, and that's, that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say. Yeah, I think it got hacked again recently because of this new thumbnail. Uh, I, I, yeah, people really like to hack it. Crazy. Reddit, Reddit, Reddit. Oh, my train whistle. I'm just thinking back to my better days. From the summer of 2005, two college students during the first cohort of Y Combinator with 12 million of seed money. Pivoted from the original idea of a phone based or food ordering system that created Reddit. The visit as the front page of the internet, the site consisted of a simple list of links that people could vote on, making it a collaborative popularity contest. The founders initially created fake posts on their fake profiles to make the firm appear lightier. First, there's no subreddits at all, and posts were mixed together. Eventually, they created the first subreddit to separate and not say for work content from the main page. I don't think they have 50 to sew even. Honestly, why do men have nipples? Damn. 
damn it. Uh, it can't play this again because of copyright, but released on December 22nd, 2005, The Ultimate Showdown of the Ultimate Destiny is a parody song. And to a video that took the internet by sword, created by Neil Cesarig under the pseudonym Lemon Demon of a Flash animation by Son Vulas, the animation citates a fan of his century long battle in Tokyo. Turn all like the Celtic mess up both in real fix and all iconic care icons from Sakil O'Neill the Batman. The video was viewed over 13 million times on Newgrounds. First tweet, the first tweet, um, the co-founder of Jack Dorsey's and the first ever tweet is sitting on my Twitter in March 1st, 2006. Twitter was originally designed as an SMS-based platform for friends to share social st status updates. It's called Twitter since it was called at the time to remove vowels and company names. In the early days, I missed the world of, of dominated by flip phones. Did it took time to gain traction? It was significantly breakthrough at the South by Southwest Interactive Conference in March 2007, where the masses, where the platform saw a massive surge in usage. Oh, Bitcoin. Oh, Line Rider, created by over four months and released in November 2006, the Solvian the Sol University student Bastian Kodas. The online game um, Line Rider quickly gained a cult following by one of the most popular Flash games of all time and even appearing in a 2008 McDonald's snack wrap commercial. Initially introduced to allow the on the DeviantArt site, the interactive toy who allows users to draw ramps, hills, and slopes. Sending a virtual soldier with a red scarf on a physics based joyride. Fans that but syncing up their elaborate levels to music with only 11,000 track videos to YouTube by 2007. I always wondered how to play this one. What's this beautiful level of man? Wasn't that good? Oh my god, it is. I did so good. Ah. 
Crash new street sweeper. Puppets call me the bleak reaper. A kill street keeper like Jack the Ripper meets Jack Reacher. Ask a preacher what he thinks of that creature. He'll sip his flask, then say, oh, that's the donkey leader. Ask it can ask show me Romeo and Theta on his first and last clash. His slash is a teacher that if you get too close, you're a new ghost fast for the crypt keeper. Big A flipped the scripts feature quietly. Now he opens bar stores knowing <laughs> this bitch will die to me. He'll bleed out their heart in less than three. But if they tell the truth, this donkey lets them be no truce when he shoots though just watch those liars flee silently this time you'll be undeniably the believers messiah my g if not a prodigy chats wondering if that's god they see i guess it's gotta be so do not the impossible quest 2007 flash game created by even our user slap me do the impossible quest game not right in for the sisters question and humor Answering 110 be bewildering riddle-like questions, the game frustrated playing with its immortal logic, one of the earliest viral raids games. And the game became a classroom sensation with students completing and collaborating the memorized the games nonsensical letters for the streets in the computer lab. Never fully played for us, so I can do that now. Oh yeah, this flashlight is a big and guy. Yeah, sorry, there's so much when music and everything is correct. I couldn't get it below beat. Okay. Does it still exist, by the way? It still exists. The impossible Christmas. Let's wait for this and I can try this for the first time. I'm gonna pull the wig. That might be copyrighted, actually. I still play anyway. I'll try it another time. Um, an internet communicator. On January 9, 2007, Steve Jobs introduced an iPhone as well as a widescreen iPod, a revolutionary phone, and a breakthrough for internet communicators. Although the credit team has said it about it as the internet communicator, but it began to become far more the most resonant revolutionary feature. The device would reshape the internet. It forced the design, the redesign of the web interface to become responsive and minimalistic. Class became began a slow death as it wasn't supported. Social media went from mobile first and then became all encompassing. An era where the internet has ended and a new one began. You can take a flight to the moon, but see what's still going to lose, huh? Tattoos, he regretted it, are like photos, tapo too, huh? You couldn't get a strike, so we did it ourselves. Revolutionary. Um, I could go on forever, but I'll spare you the rest, because I... The first one. longer than I did expect to. Send it to the sun, and go up and use the restaurant. And that last time I heard it, Monday was canceled. Should have used that money on G4. Walk outside and touch the grass and the weather is so sunny and I feel the second grammar the way I'm making that money is a revolutionary holy I don't really know. I guess that bell is just the fun and the way just staying stagnant while the price of living going up. I was kind of bluffing and the third 
bitch, I'm broke as fuck. I'ma leave the country like the game. Internet communication. But I might come right back if them foot checks don't start out. Okay, so they say I gotta make so, my first more HVI theme. But I'll be real, I don't know much about it. Widescreen iPod with touch control. I just came here for the parties in the chill community. And a break but one night I left the stream on as I drifted off to sleep. separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Ask Big A and Afro. Just like those Trace Amigos. When the cross they so the did. Be boarding the ball, they windows meet the new car. Fuck the federalities when we get that yuck coke in us. You know that we get rowdy, might get messy if you test me. Betsy might just be too sleepy, not his hands, something in his pants. What you ain't understand? Sausage fingers turned to slaughter. Well, we what a wild fit, wild girlfriend. This our purple tape, but all of y'all are crazy too and hot. Me. People want a taste of all this yummer Starbucks coffee. Or is it Duncan? Or maybe even Timmy's? I ain't really care as long as we are fucking. <laughs> hey, the fuck is that? Something. Let's just call a truce. You ain't wanna see me hopped up on all that bean juice. <laughs> all the targets be better off. This is later. Oh, but after the songs. Uh, yeah, that was really you fun to go. Shit, I'll sleep and y'all all know the rest. But if sleep is the cousin, I'm the father of death. Mission ain't even a contest, don't give out no prizes. Ain't want y'all embarrassed by some top tier talent. Told you we birds of prey, boy, pull out your talents. I hear the train whistle might just be your ass. Nah, it ain't no vape, but don't worry, cause I got gas. So just keep on snoozing, yeah, get all your Z's. Baba Yaga might be coming, man. I might boogie. Just make sure that you dreaming about cocaine and coffee. Cause when you wake up, the only thing you're gonna see. Blam! Alright, uh, you don't think there's anything there?